There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. What's up, what's up, Divas? It's your girl, April, and this is going to be a really quick and easy video. Of course, you guys know I love anything that is affordable because I am cheap as hell. So, with that being said, I did stop through to do this video for you guys, and this is also another Ally Express hair vendor. So, ladies, a lot of my videos for hair is basically based on, basically based. Does that even sound good together? But either way, it's a majority of the hair videos that I do are an AliExpress or AliExpress, whatever you want to call it, vendors, hair company. So I love to do anything affordable because if it were me, it's got to be affordable. So this time around, I did get some hair from You Glam Hair from AliExpress and I already went ahead and did the norm, you know what I'm saying? Like I already did the unpackaging, the hair was great, it did have like a stench to it. I call it the AliExpress or AliExpress smell because a lot of the hair smells the same, but I think it has a lot to do with how they process the hair um, or steam process it just to get those curls. With this hair, it was a body wave and it's gorgeous. Like when I say gorgeous, um, I feel found um well I didn't find but there is a way to get your body wave hair like really wavy if you wash your wig I always wash all my wigs on a mannequin head and then I just either I'll allow them to dry depending on the, on the density of the hair or the hair texture I'll either allow them to dry on the mannequin head or if it's like a body wave or a loose wave I'll take the wig and I will you know get one of those hangers that you come with your skirts or whatever you can hang your skirts on and I'll hang it upside down. This will give you so much body to any hair, especially if it's loose wavy or body wave. If it's like really kinky hair, then I wouldn't do that because it's already big. But with this one, as you can see in the picture right here, I did hang this one upside down and do you see the waves? It made it so full and gorgeous. I really was not trying to do anything to this hair. I really didn't feel like styling it, meaning curling it, but I wanted something different. I kind of wanted to do like that Farrah Fawcett, Farrah Fawcett curl kind of style that I used to do back in the day. It took me a minute to curl this hair because it's really thick, like super thick. Um, I'm not really sure why it's so thick like this because it is Brazilian, it is virgin. I have four bundles. They were 24, 24, 22, 20, and a 16 inch closure. Now let me tell y'all, the bundles were extra long so I did have to fold them in half to sew, but the, I didn't even get to use all of the fourth bundle. I think there's like a quarter left of it. So when I washed it, it did shed. Of course, it all sheds. Um, it on a scale of one to ten, what would I rate the shedding? I would say, um, one being the best, ten being the worst. I would say it would probably be like a four. So anyway, I did put this as a middle straight part this time, and I did tweeze some of it. And I do have three combs, and it is on a mesh dome spandex cap, which I always use and yeah if you do a middle part it's super easy you don't have to change it you could always like put it to the left put it to the right swipe to the left swipe to the right swipe to the left whatever whatever you like you know what I'm saying it all depends on your preference so I did use my favorite products which is my Aussie instant freeze on it and this is just the hairspray along with that one I did use the head strong two times the volume by Aussie instant freeze now I'm using the black opal true colors foundation stick and this isn't the color Kalahari sand it's really great for me to use as a scalp um scalp hitch okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this along with a small makeup brush and my famous trustworthy topic
Okay, hunties. Yes, yes. I'm like feeling this a lot. Even though it does not look like the Farrah Fawcett style that I was going for, I used a really cheap curling barrel today. It was the um, Clairol. I think that's how you, um, what it's called? Clairol. I got it from Walmart like forever ago. It goes up to 400 degrees. However, their 400 is really like 300 so you really can't use it on any type of texture hair because it's not gonna it's not gonna work it's like a two inch barrel i think it's like really huge and i love to use it so i did use it on that and i did pin curl it but you know what the hair is kind of thick but i'm not like a huge fan of anybody's middle part i just don't do the middle parts because i have like this long head so i think like you know I don't know. I just really don't do the middle parts a lot. I think because it's so dark, it's more darker than normal for me. It did shed, and it just shed a little bit as I was, you know, pulling through. But I'm not really sure if this is from the hair or from me cutting it because I did layer some of it. So it's a really great closure as well. Um, like I said, I did tweeze some of it, and you guys, I... I actually like the black opal Kalahari sand a lot better than my elf um, in color medium. But yes, hunties, yes, yes, I'm feeling this. Um, as for their quality of hair, on a scale of one to ten, one being the best and ten being like the worst, I would probably give it like um, I would say like a three, only because of the shedding and it's so thick. But I guess a thick thing is a good thing. You know what I'm saying? It's a good thing, y'all. Mmm. So on that note, I will post all of their info below for you guys and let me know what you think of this. If you do want a wig made by yours truly, you can always check out my website, which is gonewiththewindwigs.webly.com. Along with that, if you want a unit that has already previously been reviewed, then you can also check out my website as well. They are in the in stock section. If they are, they do get sold out pretty fast. Guys, stay diva and divalicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, and I love you guys, and I will see you on the next video. Thank you.